this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a simple floating logo in the game picture editor I'm gonna go ahead and select the file option select the new option I'm gonna select a 640 by 480 template I'm gonna hit the OK button and then I'm gonna select the bucket tool the background is already selected, selected as black so I'll go ahead and left click into the image after I do that I'm gonna select the text tool and I'm gonna change the font to Arial bold I can select over here this is a search box after all and I'll choose this uh, text I'm gonna select the size to about 50 and I'm gonna change the color to white so it's uh, distinct from this black background I'm gonna type in the name of my website the revisionist.org you can put in your logo text if you want I mean yeah anyways I'm gonna change the size to make it uh, uh, fill up properly alright I'm gonna align this with this uh, alignment tool I'm gonna select the text left click over there and align it in the middle once I have that I'm gonna make a snapshot of what's visible in this image by cho left uh, right clicking and uh, choosing new from visible uh, once I have that I'm gonna blur this text up going by going to filters going to blur going to um, Gaussian blur actually and uh, if I preview it, you see it's, there's a little bit of blur. I'm going to add the blur up just a bit. Let's do 7.0. We have that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is add some color to this uh, image. I'm going to right click over here in the um, layer palette. Uh, add a new layer. Say OK. And I'm going to fill this layer up. By the way, it's on top, but it's transparent so you can't see it. I'm going to go ahead and go to filters. I'm going to go to render and make some nice plasma um go to clouds and make some nice plasma clouds. I'm going to say okay. Now I have a fi uh, nice plasma cloud on top. I'm going to bump out the text from underneath. I'm going to do that by going to r uh, filters. I'm going to go to r not render but map. Bump map. And then I'm going to select the visible um layer, which is this one. So it bumps out this one, this one. Okay. And I'm gonna uh, oh I'm gonna also check the text and you see that it's not very distinct. I can change the depth to make it more distinct. Dis yeah, I'm gonna hit the enter key. There you go. It's more distinct. I'm gonna hit the OK button. We have this nice text over here, bumped out. Next thing I am going to do is make a layer mask on this layer. Uh, right click and go down to add layer and uh, add that mask layer. I'm gonna choose white with full opacity. That's fine and I'm going to copy this in by um, this visible layer into this layer mask uh, so once you have the visible uh, layer selected hit ctrl c on your keyboard and select the ma layer mask ctrl v and then um, once you have this floating uh, selection yeah this floating selection is selected obviously you go to layer I'm going to anchor this layer into the mask now it's copied now the next thing I'm going to do let's see let's put a black back or a different background I don't like this black color so right click uh, right click into this uh, layer palette I'm gonna say new layer and hit the OK button and I'm gonna fill it up with a different color let's say orange orange is fine hit the OK button I'm going to go to the bucket tools and just left click into um, layer the transparent layer and I'm gonna move this layer down by left clicking holding and moving it underneath the plasma layer and once I've done that I can see that the text isn't very distinct what you do now is select the uh, layer mask over here and I'm going to go to I do believe colors I'm gonna go to levels and I'm gonna move the gamma uh, option up just a bit and move the white um, white point option just a bit and move them together and now it's really nice and distinct and also it has a depth because we applied the blur effect from before it doesn't that look nice I'm gonna hit the OK button and I'm gonna add a drop shadow by uh, selecting the visible layer and if I um, deselect the other two layers on top you'll see there's a white blur text over a back background okay let's inverse this color so it looks nice go to colors go to no it's not I don't yeah, it is colors. And then choose the invert uh, option. And now it's a nice black blur text over a white background. And this will look, be perfect as a drop shadow. I'm going to uh, enable the visibility of the top two layers. I'm going to move this layer in between the orange uh, background. You'll, you'll, you'll notice that the orange background disappears. If you want that to show, you make sure that the visible layer is selected. You go to, uh, I do believe, uh, colors. Or is it layers? I think it's layers. Go ahead and select the layers option go to transparency 
and then go to um, color to alpha to make the white background transparent you can choose the color from here but it's already white so you don't have to worry about it and you can see that the black shows up and not the white hit the OK button and now you can see that the orange background is appearing last thing you need to do is go to the move tool over here select that tool and uh, I'm gonna hold down the shift key so I only move what is selected which is the visible layer I'm gonna go ahead and move that just a bit and yeah I think that looks nice that's fine I'm gonna um, let go of the shift key and my left mouse button and there you go thank you for listening if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below um, uh, I would appreciate it if you liked and shared this video and subscribe to my channel bye